I'm Anil Kumar and here is a question on ratio, rate and proportion. Find the value of unknown. 5 is to x equals to 15 is to 39. That's question number 1 for you. Part B of this question is 7 is to 21 equals to 10 is to x and then C is 4 is to 6 equals to x is to 27 and part D is 6 is to x is to y equals to 39 is to 39 is to 26. You can pause the video, answer the questions and then look into my suggestion. Now the key here to find x is to find scale factor, correct? So we'll find the scale factor and then find the answer, okay? So that is the key for solving such ratio problems. 5 is to x equals to 15 is to 39. So what we, we need to find what 5 is. So let us see how do we get from 15 the number 5. And we'll apply the same rule to get x, right? So that is the strategy for us. Clearly, you need to divide 15 by 3. So if you divide 15 by 3, you get 5. And therefore, if I divide 39 by 3, I'll get the value of x. So we can use the calculator. We'll say 39 divided by 3. That gives you a number 13. Therefore, we say x is equals to 13, right? So that is how you can find the solution. Let's do it once again. This time, we have placed x on the right side. We have to find this, right? So now, we have to find a scale factor. So we'll see how many times should I multiply 7 to get 10, and then we'll multiply by the same number to get x, right? So that is a standard way of doing it. Now, if I do that, then what do I get? Let us see. 10 divided by 7, 10 divided by 7 is equal to, in decimals, oh, 1.428571. This kind of complicated, right? If I use this number, I may not get very accurate answer, correct? Decimal is not the way to go about. Okay, what should I do now? Well, sometimes what we do is, we uh, simplify our ratio. So we write ratio in simplest form and then do all this. Okay, so can we do it? Yes, 7 is to 21. We could divide both by 7. So we get 1 is to 3. Now 1 is to 3 and from here, let's go to 10 is to x. It is after all the same ratio, correct? Now, I think it is easier. If I try it now, then going from 1 to 10 is kind of times 10. Is it okay? So if I do 3 times 10, I should get x. Is it okay? So the value of x for us is x is equals to 3 times 10. 3 times 10, which is 30. So x is 30 for us. So I hope you understand the strategy. So the strategy is simplify and then answer. Okay. So the next question is to apply this strategy. 4 is to 6 equals to x is to 27. You need to find the value of x. We have again changed the position of x. Okay. It doesn't really matter. X position could be anywhere, right? If you have ratios like this, x, you can see, could be in four different places, right? Okay, so let's first simplify. 4 and 6 can be divided by 2. You're right. So it is 2 is to 3 equals to x is to 27. So the idea is ratio, simplest, simplest form, and then you should say rewrite ratio. Ratio in the simplest form, right? So that's a complete sentence, right? Okay, so now we have to figure out how do we get 27 from 3? You get 27 from 3 if you do times 9, correct? So do times 9 to 8. So what is 2 times 9 equals 2? It is 18. So that is the value of x. Got it, correct? So that is how you could do ratio questions. 
by finding a scale factor. So 9 is the scale factor from 2 is to 3 to x is to 27. Okay, let's do the one which has got three different values. Now on the right side, we have 39, 39, 26. On the left side, 6, x, x. Okay, to simplify, we could actually, let me rewrite this in simpler form. 6 is to x is to y equals 2, dividing all by 13, 3 is to 3 is to 2. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, how do we get 6 from 3? The scale factor is times 2, right? Scale factor is times 2. Correct. So we could multiply each by 2 to get the other terms. So we get our answer 6 is 2. Well, that is same. 6, 3 times 2. And 2 times 2 is 4, right? So that is what we get. So the ratio is 6 is to 6 is to 4 to get 3 is to 3 is to 2. You get the idea, right? So in this case, what we find is that x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 4, correct? So that is how we can solve or find the value of unknown when a ratio is given to us. I hope this exercise helps you to understand that the most important thing here is to find the scale factor and at times we may have to rewrite the ratio in a simpler form to clearly see the scale factor. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.